Today we're going to continue with part three of our Magic 8-Ball program. We're going to learn how to shake our device using an accelerometer. Now that we want to get the device to perform an action using our accelerometer, we want to be able to shake our device and get the prediction just as if we would when we click that button. So in our App Inventor Designer window, we're going to need to go ahead and open up our Designer window, open up a new tab or window in your browser, and go to your MIT App Inventor account. You will log in using your Google student email address and click on Create Apps. From here, you will need to select your project titled Magic 8-Ball. Once you have opened up your Magic 8-Ball program, we're going to need to go up to the upper right-hand corner and make sure the Designer view is selected. Once you are in your Designer view, we're going to need to go ahead and add the accelerometer to our canvas. We can do this by going to the palette on the left-hand side and finding the drawer that says Sensors. Once you click on the Sensors drawer, you will find your accelerometer. Go ahead and drag that onto the canvas. Keep in mind that your accelerometer sensor is a non-visible component, which means we will not see this on our user interface. It will, however, be able to interact with our block coding that will be done in our next step. Now, once you have your accelerometer added to the user interface, we're going to need to go over to our block view. Here in our block view, we will create the event handler for the accelerometer. Now, once you are in your block view, we've already created a button one event handler, and that's going to go ahead and set our player one source file and then call that source file to play. It will also allow us to pick an item from a random list and set that to our label. We're basically going to be duplicating that event handler, but instead of using a button one click, we're going to be using our accelerometer. Now, in order to duplicate all of your code, you're going to simply right click on the when button one click event handler. Go ahead and select duplicate. Once you've duplicated that event handler, go ahead and drag that down. You will notice that you have errors in your program now because we are using the same event handler twice. That's okay because we're going to be removing the inside portion of that code. Go ahead and click on that set player one source file and drag it out. Once you have done that, you can simply go ahead and click on that event handler and delete that from your program. Now in order to add our second event handler, we're going to scroll down to the bottom and find our accelerometer. Once you click on that accelerometer, we're going to use the event handler called When Accelerometer Sensor 1 Shaking and go ahead and drag that into your program. Once you have that event handler added, we can take that remaining code and place it within that event handler. Now that we have our program set, we have two options in order to call our item to be selected. We can go ahead and click on that button one, and that will show us one of our random items in our list, or you can now go ahead and shake your device and get an item from that list as well. If you have a tablet, go ahead and connect your program to the tablet and give it a try. Just note that this will not work on the companion app in your Chromebook.